Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2022. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a simple countdown timer. This timer is going to start at 10 and count down to zero. The composition settings that I'm using are 1920 by 1080 pixels and it's 10 seconds in duration. First, add a text layer that will be the number in your countdown timer. To add a text layer, you can click on the T in the top left corner or just right click or control click right in the layers panel, go to new text. I'll type out the number 10, tap V for the selection tool, go to the align panel and center the text to the center of the composition. And the font that I'm using is called Londrina Shadow. And now it's time to add a slider control to the text layer. So open up the effects and presets panel. If you don't see it, Go to Window, Effects and Presets. Click in the search field and just start typing out slider. There you'll see it under Expression Controls. Select it and just drag it right onto the text layer. Go down to the Layers panel, twirl open the text layer, then twirl open text. What you're looking for is source text. You also want to make sure that you see this parent and link as a header in the Layers panel. If you don't see it, right click or control click, go to columns and make sure that parent and link is checked. Press the option key if you're on a Mac or alt if you're on Windows and click on the stopwatch next to source text. I'm going to click. That's going to open up the expression editor. But what you're looking for is right here, this little pick whip. Just click and drag it up into the effect controls onto where it says slider. And now the source text is parented to the slider control. So whatever value is in the slider control, I'll type in 50, that will update the source text. And to create the countdown timer, drag the playhead or the current time indicator to the very beginning of the timeline. Go up to the effect controls, enter the number that you want to start the countdown timer with. So I'm just going to enter 10, click enter or return. Then click on the stopwatch next to slider to add a keyframe at the beginning of the timeline. Drag the playhead forward in time to wherever you want the countdown timer animation to end. Then go up to the slider controls and change the number to zero. Now, if you drag the playhead back to the beginning and tap the spacebar to preview, you're going to notice this crazy decimal number. And that's probably not what you want. To round down or remove the decimals, we just need to edit the expression. And if you don't see the expression, select the text layer and tap on the letter E two times. E, E. Click. I'll tap the left arrow key to make sure that my cursor is at the beginning of the expression. And then I'm going to type in math.round with a capital M for math. So capital M A T H dot R O U N D. I'm going to do the parentheses. After Effects will automatically add a left and a right parenthesis, but I'm just going to cut the second one. So I'm going to select it and hit Command or Control X. I'll go to the end and Command V to paste in that second parenthesis. I'll type in a semicolon just for best practice here and click off. And now if I tap the spacebar to preview, the decimal places have been removed. If you are having trouble centering the numbers, open the paragraph panel. If you don't see that, go to Window, Paragraph, and center align the text. And then go back to the align panel, center it, and now the number will stay centered in the middle of the composition. And that is how to create a countdown timer in Adobe After Effects CC 2022. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.